This is a Squiz podcast. We're your shortcut to being informed. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Good morning and welcome to Squiz Kids Today, your fresh take on what's happening in the world around you. I'm Bryce Corbett. It's Friday, March 4. In Squiz Kids Today, school cancelled in Queensland, the great worldwide plastics ban, a huge weekend for sports lovers and a rocket collides with the moon. That's what's making news, kids style. The Lowdown. School kids were sent home yesterday and classes have been cancelled today all over Brisbane and south-east Queensland as the wild weather that caused widespread flooding earlier this week returned and sent locals scrambling. Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk warned Queenslanders to stay indoors for the next 48 hours as weather forecasters predicted heavy rains, damaging winds and even hail was headed for the Sunshine State this weekend. Not again. Northern New South Wales was also said to be in the firing line as residents there continued the clean-up from the dreaded rain bomb earlier this week. Sydney siders were meanwhile taking a short break from the weather onslaught yesterday. While the flooding to the city's west was widespread, the pesky rain bomb largely avoided the most populated parts of the city. However, the forecast was for more storm activity over the weekend. All right. Hands up, who upset the weather gods? Because, seriously, it's time to say sorry. And it's a big welcome back to our friends in WA. After borders there reopened yesterday, following 697 days of being closed to the rest of Australia and the rest of the world. Perth Airport has been the scene of emotional family reunions, and the roads from South Australia and Northern Territory into WA have had queues of cars and trucks all day. It's nice to have you back, WA. And what with all that warm weather you're having over there, it's very tempting to leave this soggy side of Australia and just come over there and dry out. Spin the globe. Each day we give the world globe a spin and find a news story from wherever it stops. And today we've landed in Nairobi, in the African country of Kenya, where all the countries of the world have met and agreed to the world's first global plastic pollution treaty. What's a plastic pollution treaty? It's basically an agreement among all the countries of the world to slow down the production of plastics, which is a super good thing because the amount of plastic rubbish in the world is out of control, putting at risk lots of animals that live in the sea and hurting sensitive ecosystems like coral reefs. The treaty will impact oil and chemical companies that make plastics and also put pressure on companies that sell their products in single-use plastics. Can I get a hallelujah? Sport time! Pass me the popcorn and fluff up the cushions on the couch. It's going to be a massive weekend of sport and probably just as well with all the rain that's coming. Today, the Aussie men's cricket team is beginning an historic tour of Pakistan. It's the first time we've played there for 24 years. The first test gets underway in Islamabad, which is where Aussie batsman Usman Khawaja was born. He's thrilled to have been selected after the incredible two centuries he scored in one test against England during the Ashes. Can't get enough of cricket? Well... The Women's World Cup also starts today with the Aussies' hot favourites to win the eight-team tournament in New Zealand. The Aussies' first victims, I mean opponents, will be England in a one-day international match to be played tomorrow. And if snow and ice are more your thing, then settle in for nine days of incredible action at the Beijing Winter Paralympics, starting today. The Australian team has nine athletes competing, including hot snowboard medal prospect Ben Tudhope, And if you want all the info on what sports they're representing us in, how they compete, and who's in for a medal, check out the Squiz Kids shortcut that's out today. It's available to all our Squiz Kids for Schools members and our Apple subscribers. There are links in your episode notes to free trials for both. Spaced Out 
Way up above your heads in the dead of tonight, the moon is going to have an unwelcome visitor in the shape of an out-of-control rocket from Earth that's about to crash into its surface and make a big old crater. A crater is the hole that's created when something whacks into the surface of a planet, or in this case, a moon. The rocket is believed to have launched into space from down here on Earth back in 2014 and has been floating around aimlessly in space ever since. And if you're wondering how a smallish rocket can make a crater on something as large as the moon, wrap your head around this. When it collided with the moon earlier this morning, it was estimated to be travelling at about 9,300 kilometres per hour. Ouch! Time for the quiz! This is the part of the podcast where you get to test how well you've been listening. Question number one. Which Australian state reopened its borders yesterday after two years of having had them closed? That's right, it was WA, or Western Australia. Question number two. What collided with the moon overnight and is expected to have created a crater? That's right, it was a rocket. Question number three. What great big snow-covered sporting event kicks off tonight in China? That's right, it's the Winter Paralympics. Shout out. It's March 4. The Adelaide Festival kicks off today. And on this day, 97 years ago, a little song called Happy Birthday to You was first published. It's also a Friday, and you know what that means. Good excuse to crack out the old birthday reggae tune. Hit it! And it's a very happy birthday today to Lorelai from Penrith, Sierra from Erskineville, Xavier from Ivanhoe, Miller from Craigburn, Tessa from Shoal Bay, Sam from Parks, Cece from Pakenham, Ned from Exeter and Tulsi from Enmore. Not forgetting, of course, those squiz kids celebrating a birthday over the coming weekend. Isabella from Ivanhoe, Willow from Buxton, Isla from Aspley, Indy from Maitland, Emmy from Yass, Leon from Abbotsford, Finlay from Caulfield and Gabrielle from Ashfield. And it's a special Friday classroom shout out to Dobroyd Point Public School. Also a very big welcome to Ms Corrie and her grade 5, 6 class from Glen Innes Public School who have just signed up as full squiz kids for school's members. It's awesome to have you aboard. Plus, an extra special shout out to Tennyson from Adelaide. Tennyson is a super cool, super brave squiz kid who is departing for the USA this weekend to have a life changing operation. All the best, Tennyson. We're all thinking of you. And a shout out to your brother Will, who'll be bravely waiting at home for your return. And finally, a happy 55th wedding anniversary to my mum and dad. 55 years and still going strong. Now, that's something to celebrate. Don't forget, if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a shout-out, or if you want a classroom shout-out, drop us a line at squizkids at thesquiz.com.au. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for listening to Squiz Kids today. We'll be back again on Monday. In the meantime, get out there and have a most excellent and hopefully very dry weekend. Over and out. (laughs) 